what is a simple factory design pattern so sub, uh, when we are learning something then you are asking the first question like hey actually what is it right big question mark why we are learning and what is a simple factory so uh, first read this a uh, few lines okay then if you don't understand it i will tell you in my way. now in simple factory method we move our instantiation log. we move our instantiation log to separate class mostly in a static method so what it is saying like we are creating a method with new keyword all the time so instead of you are using this new keyword in your current class so we are moving into the another class okay your instantiation log instantiation log like we are moving to the another class now get back some do not consider a simple factory as a design pattern i already told you why you can ask me actually why right so I'll let me give you the bookish answer there is some uh, like simple factory does provide a method for creation an object but it does not that based on abstraction okay let me make you understand what i'm saying when we are just uh, doing the coding part you will let you know just we are creating a one class only and top of some criteria or some filter we are just create our product object product object what i am saying like the object which i want to use in my uh, network or my project I'm just creating that object with the use of new keyword with the help of some criteria or filter. Okay, I hope you are getting it right. If you have any questions, just do comment in the comment section. Bye and happy to reply. Okay, now again, typically we want to do this if we have more than one option of instantiation. Now you can ask me here actually we, where we can use this, right? Where we can use this. So this is a answer of it. Like typically we want to use it when we have one more or one or two more options to instantiate the object. Okay, to the correct class. Now, uh, let me move to the another part. That is a like some coding steps. Simple factory. How we will we code? Let's suppose this post. So first, let me give you the some basic idea and let me construct your boundaries. Then after that, I will move to the coding part. Let's suppose you are having one application. This is one your UI application. This is your UI application. Okay. And a UI application, you have type of things like you can uh, post a news post, right? And you can post a blog also, right? Getting it now. My requirement is I want you to create an object of your news post, uh, I'm saying news post or blog post, what type of object? Let's suppose initially you are using a news post only, right? And again, someone came and said, okay, now you have to extend the functionality if you're just creating a another class and creating an object then it will be difficult for you so i want you to just create a one class that is a static post method inside it okay and give this type of function and i told you right when we are learning theoretical part with the based on some criteria like blog news and product you are just saying okay just give me the type of object so that's why they are not considering it a simple uh, like a design pattern because we are not following any abstraction we are directly just fetching a object with the some criteria okay so let's move to the coding part because i am not uh, wasting a lot of time here because it is not any uh, that much complex design pattern you, you can get it after one shot only let's see i have one class that is post okay it is long title id and content created on publish on simple data setter method that's all nothing fancy okay post and this class we have uh, no i will uh, just give you idea about it little bit later first let me discuss the another classes the blog post this blog post class is extend your post class and you already saw this post class right that post class right and when you are just extending it all the properties long title it available in your child class and the extra property which you are giving this is author and tag is also available I hope you got it. Yep, your blog post extend your post, and same goes for news post. News post extend your post class. Now, post we discuss, news post we discuss, blog post we discuss. Right now, we come to the product post again. Same thing product and extending a post. Now, come to the post factory. You will say when you are getting a type of blog, just give me the object of blog post. When you are getting a this is string type of news, just give me the news object. When we are getting a type of product, then give me the product object. 
If you are not getting any of these, then we will say post type is invalid. That is illegal argument exception. Okay. Now come to the client method. You are expecting to return a post method because we have this Java basic rule. The parent class reference variable able to hold a child classes object, right? So that's why I'm just using that approach here. Post factory, create post and news. When I say news, it will give me the news object. The same. Okay. And if you tell here like blog, it will give you the blog object. If you say product, it will give you the product object. As you can check here, I run this code. I am passing here news and it will give me the news object. So that's why I say like this is a very simple method. You don't have to do anything. But let me give you the one basic idea. In uh, Spring Boot, in Spring Boot, you are using a uh, abstract uh, factory, right? An XML bean factory. Those are used on the basis of factory method. Okay. Uh, this is a simple factory, factory method and simple factory. Both the combined they are using in their framework. Okay. And this is here the code is similar or factory method, but I am not discussing it because I told you like we will discuss after completing all these methods because otherwise it will be very complicated. Okay. Till then, I will see you in a next video with uh, another design pattern. Take care. Bye bye.